So as we welcome you back to the second game of the ladies quarterfinals here at Silver Hill. We saw in the first game Madeline Blunt taking the first game at 21-10. Madeline Blunt, she's back in the camera. Her opponent in Jalisa Holder Vaughn is fifth in the camera. Our first game that we saw quite a bit of arrows being played in that first game by Jalisa. And Scott, what are your thoughts? Uh, Jalisa is an improving player. She plays pretty well. Uh, Maudlin Blunt is also an improving player. Uh, but what I find in terms of nerves, uh, John, on the big scene, uh, Jalisa still has a way to go, but she is improving. Definitely where that is concerned. Her technique has improved over the years. She's getting some good coaching in Belfield, good coaching in the sauna, but she needs to now take all of that coaching and make it applicable to the court tonight. Serve out, committing the cardinal sin. Yes, this She's is rather unfortunate. At this point, you really, you're trying to get back into the game. And you really can't give away points as, as, she, as she did on that occasion. Five love. The score now is five serving to love again. Once at the beginning, we can see a modern blood very much in the driver's seat. A beautiful serve, good bounce serve to the middle of the court. Six serving to love. Now, you were talking about building and developing and the crowds, but give me your thoughts around the crowd that we are seeing. I mean, like I said, we're in Krapova, but yet we hear a lot of violence talk and these things happening around the island are negative. And here we are tonight, Silver Hill, lovely conditions for sports, big crowd on hand. Scott. Well, John, kudos to the crowd here at Silver Hill in Christchurch. Uh, this is the second time you and I work together at Silver Hill. Uh, the crowd has been well behaved. Um, we're, we're not even seeing anyone uh, keeping any type of noise or anything. And this is exactly what we want to see around road tennis, a well behaved crowd. Yes, I, I think that the, the quality of tennis, what we saw so far from Dario Hines and, and Dwayne Lynch, and, and what we saw from Estefine Holder and Rachel Smith, and now what we're actually seeing here on court, this has brought the crowd to some level of silence because they're really enjoying watching these players display the craft here tonight. Definitely, John, and, and it's now eight serving to one. This is a seven-point lead, and... Uh, that ball is out, so it's now two serving to eight. What Jalisa needs to do now that she has the serves is to make sure that she gets as many points as possible from her serves. Yes, and that is important. We, we don't find that a lot of the players do enough of that in rural tennis. They don't seem to focus on how vitally important a serve really is. Um, we've seen it in a few of the players over the years, but I think more players need to bring that kind of thinking to the sport. They need to use the serve to create more opportunity. Now that was a very easy put away on that occasion for Jalisa and she did well. Yes, definitely. It was a penalty and she did what she was supposed to do with it, John. Nice cross court playing. That forearm softball is giving Blunt a bit of trouble. It appears that way, but it's important that Jalisa recognizes that as well. And she puts that into her artillery tonight if she's going to get back in this game. Yes, John. And you know, sometimes you can prepare really hard uh, for a player. But then on game night, you have to identify their weaknesses and exploit those weaknesses. Nice. Oh, that's a lovely cross court, cross -court shot. shot there. Just by, barely by nipping the edge yes. of that particular angle. Oh, that was angle. Excellent, excellent shot there by Blunt. Serve to the back arm. Oh, my goodness. And Blunt is coming into her own. She's now turned, we know her as a very good defensive player, but we had two back-to-back -back attacking shots and well placed. It was not only about the power, but excellent placement. Yes, and uh, especially with this lead, Blunt can experiment a bit. Uh, she's playing very controlled. Uh, her husband, Frederick Blunt, has been putting a lot of work uh, into her game over the years. The entire family is a yes, real tennis family. Yes, yes, and kudos Blunt. to the Blunt family. Yes. They've been working extremely hard and they're well known now in the Barbados Arena where Road Tennis is concerned. All uh, three of the players are playing quite well and um, this is exactly what you want. Put in the work and see the success. Yes, and, and I must say we are seeing that from the Blunt family. We saw Kezia Blunt, she played 
as well, and she did a pretty good job. This she was able to tennis. get for that. Well, sixteen. Good exchange here by, by Jalisa. A point needed at this point. Let's see if she can capitalize on that particular play. But I want to bring you back to the Blood family. When I think about the talent in house, daddy coaching, son playing really well, daughter playing well, and here's here's the wife. And no, she's showing no that winning, she also no has winning a major tournament. Yes, she and she's on route to who knows what. Twenty thousand dollars at stake. Can Marlon Blunt pull that big check? Definitely. And you know, I always say that I admire uh, Maudlin Blunt. I remember the embryonic stages of her development when she was really training day in and day out to perfect her game. And now we're seeing uh, a very consistent level of success in her game. Yes, and, and that is what it's all about. You make, that, you make that conscious decision that you want to improve your game and you have to put in the work. It will not happen until and unless you put that needed work in. We saw it in Dario tonight, and here we have Blunt on the court, and she's displaying what her work has brought her to tonight. Yes. So 4-7 to 17, this is a major lead. Uh, we have to say kudos and much respect to the Elite Road Tennis Academy over there at BCC. Uh, special good night to Frankie and the amount of work that they've been putting in and honing the skills of these players uh, that we're seeing in this particular tournament. Again, that soft forearm shot is giving Julicia some trouble here tonight. At four, serving to 18, five now serving to 18. And I, I agree with you, kudos. We need to acknowledge the efforts of the Rotes Academy, is right. We have other camps around Barbados where the game is played. But there's a special coaching program that happens there that maybe some of their clubs might need to consider that as well. So 20 serving to 5, a 15 point lead. I'm sure that uh, this game is quite over, John, unfortunately. Yes, it, it is. As Marlon Blunt will serve to bring closure and look to advance to the semi finals of the Barbados Open 2022. 20, 20 serving to 6. I'm Seven. sure that Julissa is fighting hard to uh, get out of the pig, but unfortunately she hasn't. Very good game from both players. And Maudlin Blunt is rejoicing. She's now going to um, acknowledge uh, Julissa Holder. Congratulations to Maudlin Blunt on that victory, John. Yes, very well done. And she will advance to the semi finals of the 2022 the Barbados Rotten Open. And the action continues at Silver Hill.